Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skell Mystic. With the hype for all the new rare wands going on and all the fishing that's happening in the elephant graveyard, I thought I might put together a quick guide for you guys who have been fishing for five or six days now. I keep seeing messages, I can't get any staffs, I can't get any staffs, why not? First things first, we're going to get some gear. You want to get the Seafarer's Cloche Hat, which gives you 10 fishing luck and costs you 200 arena tickets. You want to get the overcoat, which will cost you 500 arena tickets. And you want to get the galoshes, which will cost you another 200 arena tickets. Now each of these things is going to give you fishing luck, and you don't have to get these items, but they're going to help you out. I have gotten them for the sake of this video, and I am headed to the elephant graveyard now. All right, here we are in the elephant graveyard. Now I took that gear that you saw and a fishing luck potion and put on my pet and I've got a total of 93% fishing luck and that is the key to this technique or this strategy is to use the numbers to your advantage. Because what's gonna happen here with 93% fishing luck, I can pretty much throw in any lure. In this case, I'm gonna be using the level one death lure. I could throw in a level one lure, a level three lure. I could throw my shoe in here right now and a fish will bite it and I will pretty much catch it as long as I hit the space bar at the right time. Let's see, there you go. Now, I'm, I didn't, don't think, okay, now I'm not gonna catch a staff right away. That, the fishing lift doesn't work that way. It just kind of alters the numbers as to how many you actually land, how many fish you actually land. And that's what we're doing here. We're using good casts to place the lure right close to them. And we're using that fishing luck to pretty much guarantee that we're gonna land every fish. And at the end of the day, what we're doing here is we're, we're fishing faster and fishing more accurately because the more fish that you land and the more fish that you hook and the faster you do it, the better chances you're gonna have for those extra treasure chests and those stabs to come out of them. So in this video, I'm gonna shoot for, I'm gonna shoot for three and hopefully four staves in a 10 minute period and see how many that, out of that I, that I get. Let's see, I'm at 125 now. Okay, and that's really all that you have to do is be at least somewhat practiced at the fishing. Now mind you, this video is not for beginning fishermen, it's not for people who are just starting out in Wizard City and figuring out what the schools of fish are and figuring out how to get their lure out there right and all those other things. If guys, if you need a basic fishing video, I will be happy to make one, but this is not it. <laughs> this is not it. This is how to use these numbers and how to do the techniques to your advantage. Let's see, what we got this time? And, ha, there we go, fog staff. Let's see, that's what I'm talking about. In two minutes, I pulled up a fog staff. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been looking for that thing and there it is. But anyway, I use the uh, level one death lord for one thing. I'm using that fishing hook to my advantage, which means I can use less energy. You don't have to use the level three death lord and burn up your energy faster. You can in fact conserve the energy here and the more energy you conserve for the amount of fish you catch, that will also help you in a given time period. Just, let me see, what we got there? Okay, I gotta screw that cast up a little bit. And that one. <laughs> yeah, don't watch this segment, guys. I'm not casting where the darn, I'm not. And no, no, okay. Yes, I, I, I am now casting like I'm a beginning fisherman. Ignore everything I've said so far. No, I'm just kidding. Please don't ignore everything I've said so far. It's, it's all good information, it really is. I'm just kind of, uh, I don't know, brain farting the cast a little bit. There we go, back on it. Anyway, that's what's gonna help you out to get these staves is the faster and more accurately you can fish and using that fishing luck to rely on so that you can use the minimum of energy. All those numbers work to get you more staves in a shorter amount of time. Let me see what I got this time. There we go, and I got, oh, oh it's furniture this time, Never mind. Now, for all the staffs that I, or staves, or whichever word that is, that I have gotten, I, I've also gotten about a house load of furniture. And so far, let me see. So far, I've also got a lot of fish tanks too, which is pretty handy. Well, to put all these fish in that I'm catching that I can't do anything else with. 
But just as you watch me, you'll see that lure lands almost in front of their nose every time. Giving you the minimum amount of time that you've got to sit there and fool around and wait for the fish to get there. So there we go. Just like that. I'm just like... It goes to invoke almost immediately every time. Also, whenever you're doing this, when you're catching one fish, have your eye out. Oh, what do I got this? Oh, another staff. There we go. I got the staff of Juju. Staff of cold something Juju. Anyway, as I was saying, whenever you're catching one fish, keep your eye out for any other fish in the area so you can move smoothly right on over to those and get your lure set up. The faster you can cast, and the faster you can catch, the faster you're going to have these staves. I also, whenever I have the opportunity and there's a group of fish, I'll cast into that group of fish because I know pretty much that I'm going to get in and invoke a lot quicker than I would waiting for a single fish to get up to and swim up to me. Let's see, that was okay. I'm getting a lot of these lionfish lately too. Up there, right up to the invokes. Now, there's another, here's another point too about these uh, staves, is that I have had better luck fishing on the right-hand side of the stairwell than I have on the left by far. I've done a bunch of runs of this, just doing fact checking and research and whatnot like that to see what things might help out. You know what might work better. And that left side is, well, frankly, it's kind of crappy <laughs> to get any staves out of. I've gotten a couple of chests out of there, but I don't think I've gotten even any, I don't think I've even got one staff out of that side. So whenever you come up here to the elephant graveyard, you're going to want to work the right-hand side of the pool. At least I did. Oh, there's another one. What did we get? I got a staff of Smoking Mountain. Okay. And as well with this, let me see what we got there. I'm kind of curious. I'm, 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 I've hit like a, th a run of three or four, no, three staffs so far, I think it is. Well, I might be off my count. Okay, another point that I want to bring up. I'm trying to think about my talking points here. Another point that I want to bring up with this is you can leave the Sentinels in here and just catch them off if you feel like it or you can banish them if you have the spell either way I prefer to banish them simply because I've caught and caught and <laughs> great I've caught about I'd say it's about 200 sentinels out of here and I've never gotten a chest off of catching a fish that I know is a sentinel so I just kind of take the banishing them these days getting them out, getting them out of there getting them out of my hair right there Every once in a while, these fish will bite three times. Oh, okay, there's another one what I got. Uh, I got furniture this time. Anyhow, the most these fish will bite is three times before they actually pull the lure down. They're not like in the commons when you have the decoys that pull like 15 times. I don't know, they're, like, they're trying to eat over the course of the weekend or something. I don't know. These fish will pull, only pull a maximum of three times before they actually pull it down. So that's helping to cut your time down too. So I got this time. I got a, another piece of furniture. Uh, a pot, oh, never mind. Primitive snake mask. That's the same thing. Gear. I am pulling like a really, really lot of chests out of here. I've noticed. I'm, but all staves or stabs. <laughs> I mean, let's call it staves. There we go. I'm not pulling out a lot of staves. I've gotten three or four so far. But I'm pulling out a lot of chests, period. And I think that is really just a matter of the random number generation luck. I remember when these gargoyle fish, whenever we were Darkmoor first came out and you were needing those fish to make decks, how hard they were to catch. Now I'm just tripping over them. <laughs> how the times change. I'm also kind of wondering what they're going to bring out, if they're going to bring out any new fish with the bundles that are coming out. Let's see. Oh, another chest. See what I mean? Just chest, chest, chest. Like one after another. I'm kind of watching right now, just, just for a minute to see what's going on here. Okay. 
I wish they'd get rid of these, uh, these blue halos around these stones, too. It's kind of distracting whenever you're going to cast a lure in here. Oh, and I'll tell you what. If you can, here's another tip, just a sideline tip. Find yourself a realm that has no people in it. If you come into a crowd around, this thing looks like the freaking docks at New York. You can't, you can't find a spot to fish, and you can't see anything. So if you can, find yourself a perfect realm, or at least a normal populated realm. See, I'm running back and forth here telling you, doing what, you, <laughs> doing what I told you guys not to do. But the fish are getting a little bit thin. I can catch every fish on this side in about 15 minutes of play. And I'm just about to run out on the timer, too. I don't have a lot left. <laughs> a lot more cod follows that I have to do with, too. I don't think these things are even in any recipe. There we go. Let's line it up, and away we go. Nope. Back it up. As long as I've done all this fishing, I still miss casts a lot of times. Well, not only, well, not only a lot of times, but sometimes. I'll have chain runs like you saw a little while ago where I just can't cast for anything. And that's probably that fishing lift that's saving me on that. Oh, somebody popped in there to distract me a little bit. There's a hippo popping in and out of my screen. There we go. Let me get away from that. And as well, I'll tell you what, too, with all this fishing you do in the elephant graveyard, not only does your experience go up fast, but I have gold capped a couple of times. Just not all the fish that I caught and all the chests, because the chests usually have to have 2,000 gold in them. I've gold capped a couple of times just fishing. It's, they've turned fishing from a, a sideline event thing on this game into something like a, a mainstream. Right here. I've only got a few seconds left on this, so I guess it's just going to be just about it. But I want to fish every second to get what I can. <laughs> Another gargoyle. All right, guys. So this is this is where we're at. I'm just about to end this video. This is the points that I'm bringing up. If you can get the fishing luck stuff, do that because it's going to help you fish a lot faster and a lot more accurately, and you won't have to be as careful with the schools and the burning excess energy to check the schools and the running back and forth and all those bits that really take more time and energy. Oh, there's another one. What we got? Uh, furniture. I was hoping for a a wand right on the right on the bell there, but it didn't look like it's going to work out that way. All right, guys, there you have it. I think I got four wands in ten minutes, so that's not too bad at all. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give that like button a good hard smash. It's going to help me out, and as well, share this video because it's going to help a lot of other people out too. Until next time, this is Skelemistic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, gamers? This is Skelemistic. Welcome back to Grub Guardian Guide to the Gold. I know it's been a little while since I've done this, but well, King's Eye was <laughs> good enough to put out a bunch of new content, and I felt that needed to be covered first. The uh, new fishing and the new bosses and all that whatnot. But we are back to this.